Hello everyone, my name's Kai, and in this video we're going to take a quick look at some frequently asked questions about the new VROID Studio. So these questions come from comments I may have from my other videos, as well as some Steam discussions as well. Uh, these things may seem quite simple, but they can be easily overlooked. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Number one, how can I download the old VROID Studio because I don't like the new one? So you see the three dots at the top right here. Um, essentially, just go to download beta version and then it will send you to the website and you can choose whichever version you like there. Question number two, how do I change to dark mode? So long story short, there is no dark mode as of yet. I do believe they are working on it. However, if you would like a dark background, you can go up to the three dots once again, go to settings and you can select the background color from light to dark. Here you can also change the language from Japanese to English or vice versa, as well as adjust the 3D preview quality from high to normal. I don't think there's much of a difference, but I usually just leave it on high anyway. Question number three, how do I animate and pose my model? So to do that, we go to the camera icon up at the top right over here, which is next to the export icon. So we click into the camera icon and it'll bring us to a familiar screen, very similar to Beta Vroid. So here we can adjust the facial expressions, poses, animations, etc, etc. Additionally, I do suggest going down to post-processing here and turning on anti-aliasing. Uh, low and high don't really make too much of a difference to be honest, but on and off certainly do. So you can see if I turn it off, there's a bit of a jagged edge effect. If I turn it on, then it's a lot smoother. On, off, and on once again. Finally, how exactly do I take a picture of my character? Well, you can either print screen it or you can go to the blue button down here and it will save it as uh, usually a PNG. So one final tip I have is if we go down to picture size here, sometimes what I've noticed is that uh, screen captures of characters can be a little bit low quality. If you find that your screen captures are a little bit low resolution, what you can do is adjust the canvas size here. Um, let's say turn it up to full HD, I think that would be you know, good for most cases. So that's pretty much it for now, hopefully that helps. Thank you guys so much for watching, and if you have any other questions, please do drop them down in the comments below. Please also consider leaving a like and a subscribe for more VTuber and VRoid related content. Hope you guys have a good one, and take care.